dope is a new movie directed by Rick Fava, and it's an indie hit from Sundance earlier this year, and I'm here to review it, so let's talk about this movie. I'm not going to go into much of the plot, but what I can tell you is, is that it's about three kids living in a not-so-great area in Los Angeles. They love 90s hip-hop culture, and they're basically geeks. They really are geeky. They have their own rock band, and they dress like they're in the 90s. So what happens is one night they get invited to a party and shit goes down. I'm not going to say what happens. The stuff that goes on in this movie ain't dope at all. But the movie itself is pretty dope. This movie is great. It's one of the best movies I've seen all year. If this isn't in my top 10, I guarantee you guys that it will be in my honorable mentions when the year ends. Guys, two great movies in one weekend? You got two great movies to go see this weekend, Inside Out and this. If you have no interest in going to see Inside Out, please go see this. I didn't really watch much footage. Like, I didn't really watch any trailers or commercials. Like, I got an idea of what the movie was. I just didn't know the basic plot. I kind of knew who was in it, but I didn't, like, know, like, oh, yeah, I know when this movie takes place. I thought this movie took place in the 90s or late 80s. But it turns out it takes place in present day. Like, I didn't even know that. It's filmed to look like something that takes place in the 90s. Like, it's filmed like a 90s movie. This movie definitely felt like a movie that John Hughes would direct. Part of me felt like Richard Linklater, but definitely John Hughes. I could have definitely seen John Hughes direct a movie like this. Rick Fubla directed it so damn well and wrote it perfectly well. Like, the movie has a great blend of comedy and drama. I love dramedies. I love movies that have a great blend of comedy and drama. And this is definitely one that has a great blend of both the comedy and drama. The acting in this movie is great. The three kids are all fantastic. I can't wait to see what else they do in the future. The only kid I knew was Tony Revolva. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his name. The only reason why I know him, and I think a lot of people know him, is because he played Zero in the Grand Budapest Hotel. Great performance, and I was very excited to see him in another movie because I thought he was great in the Grand Budapest Hotel. He worked so damn well with Ray Fiennes. So it's cool seeing him in something else that isn't a Wes Anderson movie. And the other two kids, like the main guy... I don't know how to pronounce his name. He retweeted a tweet I wrote on Twitter, by the way. I'll put the link of the tweet down in the description below. He was great in the movie. He was really good. And then the girl that's part of the main group, she was really good too. Zoe Kravitz is so damn attractive in this movie. Holy shit. I mean, wow. Um, she No, she was really good in the movie. And then we got so many appearances by many rappers, including we got Tyga, ASAP Rocky, Cap G. I believe Pharrell Williams was the executive producer of not only the music, but the movie itself. And you could definitely tell that there's a unique style of the music in this movie. The music in this movie is great. I, I'm i not really a hip-hop guy. I appreciate 90s hip-hop more than I do with modern-day hip-hop. Nothing against modern-day hip-hop, but I think 90s hip-hop is much better. You guys know how American Hustle had the best soundtrack of 2013 and Guardians of the Galaxy had the best soundtrack of last year? Dope soundtrack is the best movie soundtrack of the year. I can't see any other movie topping the soundtrack for this movie. Well, like I said, guys, I adored the living crap out of this movie. It was so fast-paced, too, and the story was very engaging. I love the characters. I love the performances. I love the music. I loved so much about this movie. I can't give it an A+, but I can tell you guys that I'm going to give Dope an A+, because it is a great movie. It's one of the best films of the year. I highly recommend you guys go check this out. If you've seen this movie, please tell me what you thought of it down below. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll see you guys soon.